Here we go then, time for the Canadian Grand Prix. It's lights out, away we go, Verstappen, excellent off the line, as is Lewis Hamilton. He's already alongside and ahead of Fernando Alonso. Verstappen, then Hamilton, then Alonso, Russell in fourth. Nico Hulkenberg under pressure from Esteban Ocon. The two McLarens giving each other plenty of space as Oscar Piastri stays ahead of Lando Norris. That was a super getaway from Verstappen and from Hamilton. Fernando didn't get the reaction he wanted, and all through the first four or five corners, it looks to be pretty steady. I think Verstappen will be happier to see a Mercedes in his mirrors right now than an Aston Martin. That's a super start from Charles Leclerc, not so from Carlos Sainz. Perez already ahead of him, but Sainz is trying to sort that out. As into the chicane we go, is there room for Carlos Sainz? Just, but he has to go over the curb. That loses momentum. Perez is ready to pick up the place and get it back again. Ferrari battling Red Bull as we head now down to the hairpin. Round the outside, Sainz tries to go. There's no way of getting past there. Perez has got that place back. He's eleventh. Leclerc in ninth, getting past Albon and his teammate off the line. That's a big overtake for Sergio Perez. No drag reduction system, rear wing open for two laps, of course, after the start. But he's coming back at him again, and Carlos Sainz has got the place back and into the wall. Goes the house of Kevin Magnussen. He comes back out onto the track, goes the right way according to the guidelines, but that was almost a very, very race-ending moment for Kevin Magnussen, who's under pressure now from Valtteri Bottas. At the detection point, oh, look at that. That's a big hit against the wall yeah. in turn four for Fernando Alonso. We see the end of Logan Sargent in this race and the end of his 100% finishing record for 2023. Uh, now, this is George Russell and he's hit the wall. Yeah. And you can see the damage in the distance. George Russell could be out of this race. He's certainly going to have to try and limp home with his car missing part of his front wing. We've got a full safety car here in Canada. That is going to be very, very difficult for George Russell. And he's going to have to go a bit slower as he reaches the hairpin and the leader, Max Verstappen, decides now is a good time to pit. But the reason we need the safety car is because of the debris on the racetrack. Ted, down to you, they're all coming Yeah, it's in. a perfect time, perfect time to get the mediums off and put the hard tyres on. Lewis Hamilton followed Max Verstappen in. Fernando Alonso also followed them in as well. Esteban Ocon is pitting. Ooh, Ted, Take it away. Uh, Lewis Hamilton came out from his pit stop. The Aston Martin pit stop was nine tenths of a second faster. And Fernando Alonso, A, almost got ahead. And then B, more crucially, almost ran into Lewis Hamilton. That, could, that might get looked at, I think, Martin. Yeah. It's the exit of oh, the he's, chicane. He's gone, he's gone deep. Oh, yeah. George. Oh, he hit the front as well. So what happened is he got too deep into the first part of the chicane, glanced the sausage curb, and that put him... That was a big hit, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. And Lando Norris has got a five-second time penalty for unsportsmanlike behaviour which rather backs up Martin Brundle, your theory, as to why the stewards were looking at him. Yeah, I think he was backing the pack up to build a gap for a double stack pit stop is what that's about. It's down at turn 10. Down the straight, extra 11 miles an hour on that Aston Martin with DRS. He doesn't want to be behind Hamilton for much longer. He is not behind Hamilton as out of the final chicane they go. Fernando Alonso is up in the second place and he's still got DRS to try and move away from Hamilton who's got a good slipstream and is sticking right with him. This could be a brilliant scrap for the next few laps because Hamilton's not going to give up second place without trying to fight back. That's great to see these two at it, isn't it? And Nick De Vries under braking, going wheel to wheel here with Kevin Magnussen. They tangle down at turn one and slipping through on the inside. And I'm sure saying thank you very much indeed, chaps. Uh, it was George Russell who's picked up a couple of places there. Magnussen struggling. De Vries is struggling. He outbreaks himself and they both end up going down the runoff. And it's not wide enough down there to spin it around. You're going to have to reverse out. You need the marshals to give you a clue as to what's coming along and uh, well uh, it, that's a really difficult place to find yourself in a formula one car but well, they're calling lewis hamilton into the pits so what does max verstappen do does he stay out and risk hamilton or fresh tires catching him this is getting interesting for red bull this is all about rear tire graining and whether the drivers think that the graining is going to clear up if it is going to grow up they clean up they can stay out nice stop another nice stop from aston martin there goes fernando alonso right in front of me but if they think it's not going to clear up and we're going to have the loss of rear grip like max verstappen has been talking about then it's better to come in fernando alonso is just making his way out of the hairpin at turn 10 
whilst Max Verstappen trundles at 80 kilometers an hour down the pit lane to the garage right at the far end. The crew get ready to work, change all the tyres, beautifully orchestrated. 2.7 seconds, they might think that's half a second slow, uh, but Max Verstappen had plenty of time in hand on Fernando Alonso uh, to be able to afford a half a second extra stationary time. He could probably pick up a copy of the Sunday papers and have a little read of it too. So we think we're going to have to retire this car. Up front left brake wear is too high. Tell me what you want me to do. So call the car, just call the brakes down. And just as we were talking about reliability being so good in 2023, George Russell's recovery drive comes to an end as he enters the pits. Meanwhile, out in front, this is Max Verstappen. Oh. I almost knocked myself out on that curve. <laughs> the only man who'd ever laugh about that sort of moment when leading a race. Ooh, makes your eyes water. This man, Max Verstappen, on a 26 race classified streak is the man that has won now 20 of the last 27 races, because it's Verstappen in Canada for the second year in a row, winning for Red Bull, who reach 100 race wins in their history. Congratulations, it's ton up and smiles all around in the Red Bull garage as Verstappen takes the Canadian Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso, another runner's up spot, another podium, comes home in second. Sergio Perez is going to try for the fastest lap. Lando Norris is going to try around the outside of Esteban Ocon. Ocon somehow manages to defend the crowd, absolutely loving this, on the final lap of the race. There goes Lando Norris, moving out now, giving it absolutely everything he can on the last lap of the race. He and Esteban Ocon go into the final chicane. Oh, Norris has to bail out. There was no room for him. Perez crosses the line in sixth. Alex Albon in seventh. And behind him comes Esteban Ocon. And on the road, Lando Norris ninth. Lance Stroll takes tenth ahead of Valtteri Bottas. He got him just on the line. And the smiles are starting to return on his face, Mercedes' face, certainly Alonso's face, and they haven't really left Max Verstappen's face. He was smiling at the start of the season, and at round nine, with yet another victory, the grin is still there. What a podium, Verstappen, Alonso, Hamilton, Newey. That's Formula One for you.